Hello VC, I hope everybody's having a great day today and to all my friends in the US I wish you a very happy Thanksgiving. Uh, my name is Will and this is my introduction video into the YouTube Vinyl community. And so as in every other intro video I'm just going to share my story, how I got introduced into the VC, uh, what kind of music I like and how I got started into collecting vinyl and all that jazz. Uh, so I hope you enjoy. Um, so how did I get introduced into the VC? Uh, it was almost uh, several months ago, almost at the beginning of the year. And at that point, uh, I didn't even know that the VC existed. I just uh, loved watching your videos in YouTube of people, of you guys sharing uh, your record collection and talking about music. I just loved that environment and I loved that, uh, that you guys were so excited about talking about music and about physical music in particular. And uh, I just loved watching those videos and uh, in the videos I, I heard you guys mention that two letters, VC this and VC that and hello VC and at that point I, like I said I didn't know what the VC was so I did my research I went to Google and eventually I found the YouTube uh, sorry the Facebook page of the VC and I joined I started commenting in there I met a lot of cool people in there I went back into YouTube I was subscribed to a lot of uh, VC channels in there I started commenting in there too as well and I just loved the environment I loved uh, you guys channel so I the next step for me was to okay I'm gonna try to create my own channel now I must warn you that I don't nearly have as many vinyl records as uh, most people here in the VC, but I do still like talking about music and I love, love sharing my records and uh, um, I'm still working on building my collection so I promise to keep at least a little bit interesting or entertaining, I promise. So there you go, that's how I got started into the VC and now uh, as far as the music I like and uh, uh, what, what kind of vinyl records I like collecting, uh, I grew up in the early 90s, so I would listen to a lot of pop punk, a lot of punk rock bands, and then later on I would listen to a lot of alternative music and alternative rock. Uh, basically anything that's rock and roll I would listen to. And um, how I got started into vinyl, uh, it was almost out of novelty to be honest. Uh, I, remember, I remember when I was in high school or in college I would go to these concerts and uh, I would go to the band's booth after the show and they would sell their t-shirts, their CDs, and they will also have, uh, I remember they had 7 inch vinyl records of, their, of some of their songs and I remember thinking, oh man, that, this is so cool, I've never seen this, uh, these vinyl records before and at that point I didn't even have a turntable, but I still bought them, I collected a bunch of those because of no, novelty, it's different, it's cool and I ended up having a large uh, vinyl collection and I bought a turntable as well now, uh, unfortunately, and hopefully a lot of people in the VC will, uh, will ad identify with this but I ended up selling a large portion of my collection when I was in college uh, for three main reasons. Uh, first, uh, I was moving a lot when I was in college and I just uh, didn't have the time or the space to deal with a, a large uh, vinyl collection. Uh, second, I was broke, I needed the money, <laughs> I needed money for rent, for school, and uh, I was a poor college student after all. And third of all, uh, thirdly and lastly, I, to be honest, my, my taste in music was changing a little bit. I remember at that point, uh, well before, when I was younger, I would listen to a lot of fast-paced pop punk and uh, punk rock and hardcore punk. And then my taste in music started switching, it started to change into more uh, melodic pop punk and a lot of uh, alternative rock and classic rock. So at that point I didn't listen too much to the older records that I had. And um, I still do listen listen to some pop punk and punk rock. It's just not as much as more now nowadays. I listen to more of alternative rock and rock and roll, a little bit of pop punk as well. Uh, so I ended up selling a large portion of my of my vinyl records. And um, but um, the good thing is that when I graduated from college, I started working, and now I'm able to uh, buy some more records. And I started rebuilding my record collection after college. So uh, I also wanted to talk a little bit about what I like about vinyl records, what I enjoy about vinyl records. And to me, uh, it's about the artwork. I'm a big artwork guy. I like seeing the big images in the record covers. I like uh, admiring it, looking at the lyrics. Um, I like to be able to hold my music. To uh, I like the physical aspect of it, uh, seeing all the details. I like uh, also the small things, kind of like looking at the hidden messages in the dead wax of the records. Um, it's just, uh, I think it enhances the whole uh, music listening experience. Uh, but in general, to me, uh, it's, a, uh, 
it's about the whole experience of listening to music, right? And I'm sure a lot of people in the VC identify with this, but uh, to me it's about the ritual, right? You grab a record, you look at the artwork, you take the uh, record out, you put it in the, in, the tape, in, the, in the turntable, you play it, you listen to it, you uh, read the lyrics, it really forces you to pay attention to the music and to listen it to front to back without skipping the songs. Uh, it's almost like the way that the artist really meant the music to be listened to. That's what I like about it, um, the whole uh, listening experience or the whole music listening experience. So this would not be a complete VC video if I didn't show you at least one record. So I'm going to show you one record in my collection. And this is by uh, one of my favorite new bands. The band's called Lemuria and uh, the record's called uh, The First Collection because it's their first compilation album of um, the first uh, few songs that they released in singles or EPs from 2005 and 2006. And this is a great band, it's a great pop-punk band uh, from upstate New York. They're fairly new, I think they got started in 2004, 2003. Uh, but they're great, they're a great band. Uh, I haven't seen them live be uh, yet, but I'm planning to. They're on tour right now. Uh, this is a fourth pressing in white vinyl that I found in a record store, I think, um, uh, here in Atlanta. And uh, it looks great, it sounds great. If you, if you have some time, check them out because they are really, they are really, really good. They're, like I said, one of my favorite new bands. And they actually released a new album last year, in 2013. That was my favorite, favorite album of the year, to be honest. It's a great, great band. So before I wrap things up in this uh, introduction video, uh, I always like to end up my videos with um, just a question to get the conversation started here in the comments. Uh, there's no need to post um, a video a response or anything, I just want to get the conversation started here in the comments. And uh, uh, the question today is in honor of Thanksgiving here in the US. And this is the day where we say thanks, but it's also the day where we eat a lot. <laughs> so the question is, what is your favorite food related uh, album cover in your collection? And to me, my favorite, favorite uh, food-related album cover is this one. And the Velvet Underground and Nico, the famous banana cover. It's a great album. Uh, this one is in mono, and it comes with uh, uh, Gatefold. It's one of my favorite albums. I love the Velvet Underground. And uh, on the back, I just got this fairly recently in a record store here in Atlanta, too. And uh, it's a great album, so check it out if you haven't. Uh, that's my favorite one uh, with the uh, food related uh, album cover. Uh, feel free to tell me which one's yours here in the comments. Like I said, there's no need to post a, a video. You can if you want, but I just want to get the conversation started down here in the, in the comments. So, uh, But anyways, that's about it for my introduction video. I hope you like uh, I hope you liked it. I hope you like my channel. I look forward to posting some more videos in here. Uh, looking forward to meeting more people in the vinyl community. And uh, thanks again for watching. I hope you have a happy Thanksgiving and uh, have a great day. Bye.